This movie will show you how to easily install Irina Mika and possibly in the packages on your computer. The movie is documented on Windows, but the procedure is the same for Mac OS X. So the first thing which needs to be done is you have to get one of the two main tools how to install the packages. One of them is made in Java. The other one is made in Google Pro. Both of them are available to you from the APS web page for the USAX instrument. So if you go in a USAX instrument, usax.xray.aps.gov, uh, you will be able to find on the right hand side links to the software packages, Indra, which is data reduction for USAX instrument, IRENA for data analysis and Mika for reduction of 2D data. So both you can go in any one of these pages and on this page you know you will find a lot of information. You will also find a table containing a information about current version. 2.53 is the current available version when it was released. And then you will find various methods available to you. If you do have a English type version of the operating system, you can use Java Installer, assuming Java will work on your computer. Java Installer will download from the web page or from our local depository here through FTP or HTTP the packages and install them on your computer as needed. If Java does not work on your computer, then you have another choice. You can run an universal installer, which is an Igor Pro program. So that will work because you are likely going to have the Igor Pro on your computer. And that one has a choice. You can also run it the same way. So it will download a packages one by one across the network, or you can download the complete installation package, which is um, here containing the installer and a zip file or a folder with all the code available locally, or you can download the installer and the Go code as a zip file separately. If you download the about 80 megabyte zip file, then you unzip it on your computer, then you can install from your local copy. And that way you avoid having troubles with some of the networking issues which seem to be happening uh, if your network is not very stable or there are some issues with network. So pick any method which will work for you. These are the two basic ones. Then you can download some of the other ones. There are older versions and there are also zip versions for those which cannot get the other two methods working. It is then more difficult to install the packages. So let's say that you downloaded the packages on your local computer. So then you would have either a Java installer or you will have a universal installer, which is an Igor file. And possibly you may have a folder, which is called Igor code, which was inside the zip file. If you download the full installation or uh, these two files separately, if you put them in the same place, they're going to work easiest for you. So let's assume you have a Windows Windows with English speaking Windows or English speaking Mac OS X. And let's say that the Java actually works on your computer. So here is a easiest installer. It uses Java and it assumes that the Igor Pro is not running. So if you have an Igor Pro running, you have to quit it first. Inside this program, you have various choices. The first one is that you can check packages versions. If you do this, you will find out that there are buttons here, let's say uninstall, and underneath that is your current version. If the package is not installed on your computer, there will be a current version of minus one. If you have already installed Irina, there will be a number different than minus one. And then this on the right hand side is a web version. In other words, what is currently available online. And the same for Mika, the same for Indra, which is data, uh, which is USAC data reduction package. 
Notice there are some, they say there is XOP support. Please install XOP support anytime you install any one of these three packages. You can also, uh, you can now install individual packages or you can install all of them. Now, most people will not need Indra because those that, that package is needed only by people who actually have used USEX instrument at the APS. So let's say you are interested in installing the IDINA package. What do you do? You say install. It will pop up a question, say start, and it will download package by package. If you look on the history area here, it says I have installed this text file, this data file, this file here, and eventually it says done, at which point you can simply close. Now, I said, do not forget to install XOP support or the packages will not work correctly. So you can do start and install. At this moment, we have installed Irina package. If FTP or HTTP connection to our servers works for you as well as it does for me, then you now have everything done and you can go in Igor and you can start using Irina. I will show you that in a few minutes. Let's say that Java is not working on your computer or you have other troubles with your network connection and you cannot use this method. Then we have the other method available, which is using the universal installer. If Java is not working and you can try to use universal installer the same way as we just used uh, the Java installer, except now we're using it from within Ego. So if you start double click simply the universal installer and notice I have a version 1.23, the current version online is 1.21, but I will be making this one available soon. What you find out is that we have a installation help information here, which you can read through to figure out which parts of, of which components you need, which you don't, and other information. You then have a graphical interface which looks very similar. And notice that it automatically install it automatically checked for the packages versions. And so here you have installed current version of Irina 2.53, which is the web version we just installed it. There's no Nika installed, there's no Indra installed. So let's say that we would like now to install Nika. So you just simply hit the button here, and after a few few seconds. The installer will check that there is nothing to delete locally here, now old version of Nika. And then it will download one file by another file from our FTP servers or HTTP servers, depending on conditions. And it will install Nika. Don't forget to install the XOP unless you have already installed it with other methods. If you now would do a check versions, it checks the versions. Notice the version of Irina has not changed, but Nika previously uninstalled. It was minus one. Now it's the current version 1.63. So you can install any package you want this way, assuming your network connection is working. Now, if your network connection is not reliable, you are on the other side of the world and the connection is poor and you're losing connections, you start seeing here error messages either in this area here, instead of installed file, you will get an error message which says, I could not download a file. Similar message you would get in the Java program. You have another option. You could download the zip file, as I said, or you could download both of these together as a one zip file in that big one, and then you unzip them. If you put them in the same place, there's a checkbox here which says install from local copy network. If you check on that, it says, do you want to do an install from the local copy here and can say yes. In which case it will check the versions available to you locally. Now it's not using FTP or HTTP. It's now simply copying files or, or checking files which are locally on your hard drive. So things will be much faster, but remember this local zip file may actually be obsolete. So if you now decide to install, for example, Indra, you can simply click on the button it will then go make sure that no, no components of Indra are locally present. And then much faster copies and installs the files 
which belong to the other package, to the other package. So this way we have any can do check packages and you can see that all of the versions are now the same. We already have done support, but we can redo it to actually support the game and say OK. Now, in this place, in this place, you get a few more choices here. You have a website. If you hit this button, website, it will open my personal web page from which you can go to the Irina web page, for example. It will also have an option here to sign up for Irina mailing list, at which place you can you can sign up and when the new updates are going to be available you will be informed via email that you can download the updates and there's the same similar uh, mailing list for me uh, these mailing lists are used mostly for for informations about new updates um, there has been some discussions about small and scheduling in the mailing list but it's not very heavy and it's heavily moderated by me so if you have a worry about the amount of traffic you get from it, it's very very small there's one more thing you might be interested in and that is if you look on Irina webpage the Irina is currently using um, is currently using optionally XLT for calculating form factors from NIST small angle scattering data analysis package and you can download the package um, from here as a one zip file they use a very similar method to my local installation method so you download the zip file and you can install the NIST package when you install the NIST package it will add an XLT for your into your computer which then Irina can take advantage of and some of the calculations for form factors get much faster I mean like an order of magnitude faster if you use that so if you want to use some non-spherical form factors you might take advantage of using this at the same time you get a very nice well supported well written package for analysis of small and scattering data which can be used for SACs or SANS and for specific systems it's actually better than IRENA so let's say that you have installed all of these then what you do is you quit the Igor and then restart Igor Pro when you restart Igor Pro you now can check that your packages are fully installed and operational you will find load USAX if you installed Indra you will find load IRENA here if you installed IRENA you will find load Nika if you installed Nika let's say we installed IRENA we do install IRENA and if you get an SAS many here then your code has compiled and you should have fully functional IRENA package if you get any error messages you should try to first reinstall IRENA, maybe using a different method. Um, and then if you still cannot get it running, then you probably want to get in touch with me. But most likely, you should have fully operational IRENA here. Now, IRENA and Nika both have a once a month check for updates. So once per month on your computer, this screen for IRENA and a very similar screen for Nika will here. This thing is done every 30 days on every computer. And what it does, it says your version is 2.53. The available version online is 2.53. So if there's an update, you should be warned about a new update at least 30 days after it was released. And you can then go and open the web page. It also reminds you that when you are publishing data analyzed using IRENA or reduced using Nika, you should cite or you need to cite the manuscripts which are cited which, which were written about the packages. So this is the main IRENA package. You should always cite this one. 
If we use absolute intensity calibration using our classic carbon sample, here's another citation. If you use a reflectivity package, here is a citation for Andy Nelson's uh, reflectivity. Then if you use unified fit package, it's here, and I will eventually add more of these because there's quite a bit of more papers which cite back to the theories which are being used by some of the tools, and it is important to check those things. You can check for these updates always when you go in help about and check for updates. The same thing is available for Nika if you go in and Nika, Nika is SAS 2D, so if this updates, if this properly compiles, then you should be okay if you do check for updates here. You get a very similar, very similar screen with less citations. But this one is for Mika, and this one is for classic carbon calibration. Now, for the last thing is, where are the deinstalled packages, just in case you would like to actually see them or remove them. Now, you can always remove them using the installers, but let's say that you would like to understand where the packages are. In the help menu of Igor Pro, is a show ego pro user files if you click on this you will find out that currently the user files are in your home folder in the my documents on windows or documents on a mac there is a folder called wave metrics and inside that we got Eagle pro 6 user files inside this are places where are either the extensions which is what i install what the installer installed there the help files, the legal procedures, and user procedures. If you go in user procedures, inside are the folders. And when we, what we did is we installed Irena folder, Indra folder, Kansas, which is a support for one of the data formats, installed Mika. This actually is the NCNR, the NIST, in, NIST install package. So this one's something else. And this is one of the folders which Irena will create. So you can find these, and if you want to and just in case you would like to really get rid of everything else, you just delete these folders here. They're accessible from the Eagle Pro menu, or you can just go in your documents, and in your documents you will find the folder weight metrics in Eagle Pro. So this this finalizes the information about how to install Irina. Indra and Nika packages on your computer.